Well, very sad story. Um, Spanish police have found human remains in the search for missing teenager Jay Slater in Tenerife. The 19-year-old has not been heard of since going missing a, a month ago on the 17th of June. And the civil guard says that whilst formal identification needs to take place, all evidence suggests the remains are those of Jay Slater. He might have suffered an accident or fall. Uh, Tom, I don't know if you've been talking about this this morning. Absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> We've uh, been speaking to a, a newspaper editor, a local newspaper editor in, in Tenerife this morning. Um, who has the same questions that are on the front page of one of the British newspapers today, which is basically, well, why wasn't this done sooner, given that, unfortunately, this body was located quite close to where the last phone signal seems to have come from? And the answer from this newspaper editor in Tenerife is, the terrain is horrendous. I mean, you, you can't, unless you've been there, you don't know just how hilly and craggy and rocky it is. Um, and it seems as if, unfortunately, from the road uh, that they were searching on, the, the body was found some 600 feet below, which would indicate, as the police are suggesting, an accident or a fall of some kind. It's the worst possible news for the family, isn't it? Really? And I just think everyone's sympathies are with, particularly with Jay's mum, because it's, it's horrific. Yeah. Oh, it's every mum's nightmare, isn't it, Saeeda? Yeah. It really is. It is, and, and it's, it's tragic news, but uh, it's also, I think, I suppose, the start of the healing process, because mm -hmm. this period of not knowing um, has been horrendous for the family. You've seen the grief, you've seen the, the press conferences. Um, but again, I think it, there are questions to be answered. I think there was a whole, there was a series of searches that took place in a completely different location early on. And when we do have data like mobile phone data, there are questions as to why they didn't move quickly to, to this place. Whether it would have made any difference in the mm. end, we're not sure. Yeah. But, it, you know, these weeks of agony... Um, have been really difficult for the family. To back up your point, Tom, Isla uh, from the show went out there. I was just talking to her off mic last week and she just said, and I said, what, you know, why haven't they found him yet? And she just said, you have to, un until you're there, you just don't know. It's hard mm. to appreciate just mm -hmm. how hostile that environment is to try and to try and find some, to find, find anyone. It's, mm. it's a needle in the haystack. Awful, awful. Saida and Tom, we'll be back to you, with you very shortly. Uh, thank you so much Scotland. for visiting our This Morning YouTube channel. Uh, we upload new content every single day, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the morning.